Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session, we are trying to explore some of the trending technology, especially in the areas of microbiology, along with its benefits and scope. So let's get started. The number one technology which is emerging currently in microbiology is metagenomics. Metagenomics involves studying the genetic material directly extracted from the environmental samples to understand the diversity and functional potential of microbial community at the genomic level. So it's quite an efficient one in comparison to your traditional microbiology where you require to culture the microorganism which is quite time consuming and effort required technique. So here metagenomics allows researchers to analyze the complex microbial ecosystem without the need for culturing the individual species. Thus, it can be utilized in environmental monitoring, diagnostic, bioremediation and understanding the human microbiome. The another significant area is your single cell genomics. This technology enables the sequencing of individual microbial cells providing insight into genome diversity within the population. Thus, it can reveal the heterogeneity in the microbial population, aiding the study of rare or unculturable microbes. It helps in understanding the microbial diversity in extreme environment and studying the host microbial interaction along with the medical research. The next significant area is your CRISPR-Cas technology. As you know, CRISPR-Cas system are advanced gene editing tool that can target and modify specific DNA sequences in microorganisms, thus revolutionizing the genetic manipulation, gene editing, enabling the precise modification for research, biotechnology, microbiology, and potential therapeutic applications for both. CRISPR-Cas systems are widely used in creating genetically modified microorganisms for various purposes such as producing biofuels or drugs. And the another fascinating area is your synthetic biology, which involves the designing and constructing novel biological system or modifying the existing organism for a specific purpose. Thus, they have role in creating tailor-made microbes with enabled capabilities like bioremediation, biofuel production, and drug synthesis. Synthetic biology can be applied in industrial processes, agriculture, and in the areas of medicine to address various challenges. The another significant area is your microfluidic. Microfluidic involves manipulating small amount of fluid within the microchannel, allowing precise control over experiments involving microbes. Thus, it facilitates high throughput screening, single cell analysis, and studies of microbe behavior in a controlled environment. This microfluidic can be utilized for drug discovery, pathogen detection, and understanding the microbial behavior in confined spaces. Along with these, high throughput sequencing is having role in microbiology. This is also known as next generation sequencing. This technology rapidly sequences large volume of DNA, RNA, and in fact the whole genome, thus enabling and helping us in comprehensive analysis of microbial genome and transcriptome, accelerating the research in the diverse areas, including your microbiology. NGS can be applied in microbial genomics, metagenomics, and in fact in the diagnosis of infectious diseases. Along with this, microbiology can be utilized in microbe analysis. This focus on the characterizing microbial community in different environments such as human gut, soil, and oceans. This offers insight into the role of microbes in the health, disease, and ecosystem, leading to the potential environmental and therapeutic interventions. Microbiome analysis can also be utilized in personalized medicine, agriculture, and environmental studies. With the data revolution, bioinformatics also plays a crucial role in microbiology. Bioinformatics involves developing software's algorithm to analyze the biological data, including the omics and microbial genomic data. This enables researchers and scientists to manage, analyze, and interpret a vast amount of microbial data efficiently which can be utilized to understand the genomics, metagenomic, and system biology to gain insight into microbial function and interaction. The another area is your nanotechnology in microbiology. It integrates the nanoscale material and technique to study, manipulate, and interact with microorganisms, thus enhancing the imaging, drug delivery, and diagnostic in microbiology, providing the new avenue of research and application 
Does nanotechnology also play a significant role and can be utilized in targeted drug delivery, imaging and developing antimicrobial engines? Along with these, the another area is mass spectrometry based proteomics and its role in microbiology. This technology identify and quantify protein in microbial sample using mass spectrometry aiding in understanding microbial function. This provide insight into microbial metabolism, protein interaction and responses to environmental changes. Thus this can be utilized to understand microbial physiology, drug discovery and even in the biomarker identification. The next area is microbial electrochemistry. This involves the interaction of microorganism with electrode enabling the energy production and various application. It offers sustainable energy generation through microbial fuel cells and facilitate bioremediation of pollutant. This offers sustainable energy generation through microbial fuel cells and facilitate bioremediation of pollutants. Thus, it can be applied in bioenergy production, wastewater treatment and even in the environmental remediation. Along with that, digital PCR, the DPCR are very frequently utilized in microbiology these days. Digital PCR quantify DNA and RNA molecule in a sample with high precision by partitioning it into numerous individual reactions. Does it provide accurate quantification of rare microbial species or genetic mutation which are critical in diagnostic and research? DPCR can be used in pathogen detection, monitoring the gene expression and to study the microbial diversity. The another fascinating area is your biosensor. Biosensors can detect specific microbial molecules and interaction, facilitating the real-time monitoring of microbial activity. Thus, it offers rapid and sensitive detection of pathogen, toxins and other biomolecules with application in healthcare and environmental monitoring. Biosensor can be used in medical diagnostic, food safety and environmental surveillance. I have already made few videos on biosensors and aptamer sensors. So if any one of you who are interested in such subject areas can watch that videos also. The another area is your microbial nanocellulose. Microorganism can produce nanocellulose, a versatile biomaterial with application in wound healing, drug delivery and even in the tissue engineering. This provides a sustainable alternative to synthetic material for medical and industrial processes. And this can be utilized in regenerative medicine, packaging and biodegradable materials. And lastly, the microbial bioinformatics for drug discovery. This utilizes computational method to analyze microbial omic data and predict potential drug target. This can accelerate the identification of novel antimicrobial compound and could aid in combating the antimicrobial resistance. Microbial bioinformatics can be used in drug discovery pipeline to develop a new antibiotic and new antimicrobial agents. These are few of the trending technology in microbiology which represent exciting opportunity to expand our understanding of microbial life and its application in various fields and its potential impact on human health. Keep in the mind that the field of microbiology is dynamic and new advancements are likely to have emerged. So keep learning and keep updating. If any one of you are interested in learning microbiology techniques and research projects along with the collaboration can contact us. Please feel free to reach us. We also provide training and projects in such subject areas. I hope you have liked the session also. And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Thank you.